Monday, October 20, 30th, 2023, dream vlog. So I remember this other part of the dream um, that I forgot to post in the part one. So this is part two. Um, I dreamt that I was, uh, that when I went to the front door uh, and then I was getting my, uh, there was a life-size person in a, in a, in a dark night, um, Batman outfit. And he put the mask over his face and it would look like a real Batman outfit, you know what I mean? Like from the movies. And then there was a truck right there and they were hopping. My sister and some and Sandy were getting in a truck, a back of a truck. It was green. It was like a green weird truck, like a, a almost like an Al Camino back, but um, like a back trunk, but different. It was weird. And then and then they were leaving with that. And then Batman went in there and then Batman turned into Shaggy. I don't know. I'm having weird dreams because of Halloween. The spirits are messing with me. And and then they turned into Shaggy from Scooby Doo. And then um. And then uh. And then I ended up at my I ended up at Independence at my grandma's house or my grandma and grandpa's old house, eight twenty three D Street. And then um. And um. My grandma's house was 823 Deep Street, Independence, and um, I was over there, and Irma was there, and my whole family was there, basically, Irma, my mom, um, my tia Melinda, um, everybody was there, and then a whole bunch of strangers, and then my, my cousin um, Juanito uh, Jr., my cousin Juanito was there, and um, like Cindy and them weren't there, though, it was just Juanito. And then, um, and, um, and, uh, so Juanito was there, my mom, my tia Irma, and I think my tia Melinda, but I don't really see her. And then there were some, some females there. There was females coming in, in the house. They looked like all little tweaker females. They were all skinny. <laughs> And some of these, some of these people in my dream were spirits because I could feel their energy. They were all spirit. Like I don't know if they were all spirits, but a lot of them were spirits, um, just coming in. So I was over there, and um, I could feel they they were spirits and not the actual people. And then, um, and then, um, I'm over there hanging out, and we're just having like a get together or whatever at my grandma's house. And then, um. And then um, Irma was trying to set me up, like trying to like set me up for crimes or set me up or something, something. And then there was females coming in and they were all flirting with me. All the females in my dream were flirting with me. They were all fine, too, but they were spirits. They were just trying to seduce me. And um, they're trying to make me relapse on my celibacy. That's what they're trying to do because I'm celibate while I'm in fasting. So they're trying to make me relapse on my celibacy. Um, so when I fast, I'm celibate, right? So, um, they're trying to make me relapse on that. So that's why I keep having dreams of sexual orientation or sexual, sexual dreams that are being seductive. Um, but anyways, um, I dreamt of that. I dreamt of them kept like flirting with me and they were being subtle though. They were just flirting, flirting. They weren't really being seductive because the dream I had the other day, that the the spirit was trying to seduce me seduce me and like and have like a a sex dream but i push it off and i called it out i was like nah you i'm good and then it went to go talk to a higher up spirit in my dream because <laughs> i rebuked it in my dream right and um and um and uh and then um so all these females were, some were Mexican, some were like white. They were all skinny, like petite, you know what I mean? Um, me, I have, I like petite girls and I like thick girls too. So, I mean, I have two couple of different preferences, but, um, but anyways, I was in my dream and, um, they were all like flirting with me, but they were being subtle this time. 
because like I said in my last stream, they they had a they try to get me in a full on sex dream to build a, a spiritual demonic covenant. Because when you have sex in a dream, it's a covenant between if you're dreaming a person, then you're covenant you're being, building a soul tie in, in the dream realm with that person. If you're dreaming if the person that you're sleeping with in a dream is a spirit, then you're building a, uh, a spiritual covenant, a spiritual energetic cord, allowing them into your being, into your into your life, right? So that's why I keep rebuking them in my dreams. And um, and they keep trying to get me to wake up and break my celibacy. So, um, but anyways, it keeps seducing me. This time it was subtle. They were just flirting with me, trying to like, you know... Um, persuade me to basically holler at them you know what i mean and then um and then i kept just like whatever i just kept accepting their compliments and then um and then i'm like cool 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 cool, cool and just feeling good getting compliments right and then i'm walking around my grandma's house and um um and then um I don't know, I just see everybody just kicking it, basically. It was just... And then I see my tia Irma, my Irma, go outside. And she comes to the door. And then she, uh... She's, like, warning me or something. She's like, come outside, come outside, come outside or something. And, um... I felt, like, this anxiety in my dream from this part. And then I see the... When I come to the door, I don't know, I don't know. I just see her at the door. I felt like Irma in my dream might have been a spirit. Could have been not her. But anyways, um... But it could have been her. Because she... I prayed over her in real life. She was having a seizure or something. She was... Real, she was on drugs or something. And my mom called the ambulance. And I prayed over her in the power of tongues. And she started demonic man demonically manifesting and speaking in de demon tongues when I prayed over her. So, um, and I have this on live stream. Uh, I can't make this shit up. And, um, and so she has demons in her, like real demons. Um, anyways. And, um, anyways, uh. So that she was being demonic in my dream, trying to set me up and just all that other stuff for crimes or whatever. And then anyways, um, I seen a white car outside, a white car outside and another car. I can't remember the other car, but the white car was like a box car, like a, a box car. And the other car was, um, I can't remember, but it was it was significant, but I can't remember. And then all the cars were parked sideways on the concrete because in my grandma's old house. They had laid down concrete themselves and signed their names on the concrete. It's probably still there. And um, my grandma, my grandpa, and my uncle, Domingo, they all, like, signed the concrete because they laid it down themselves. I remember I was a kid and they laid it down. But they were all parked sideways on the concrete. And then, um, and then, um, and then, um, and then, and then, um, I remember being at the door and I seen a couple of females. They were like spreading rumors about me. It was three skinny females. One was white and the white woman was skinny. It kind of reminded me of my neighbor, but it was weird. But anyways, um, anyways, they were spreading rumors about me and they were talking shit, right? They were all, and I came to the door and a doorway, it, can signify portals or doorways, open doors, abra caminos, all types of things. Um, especially in real life, you can do doorway magic as well. You can stand in the doorway and do witchcraft in a doorway. It's a gateway. But anyways, back to it is that um, I was in the doorway, right? And I was, they were outside just talking about me. And they're like, basically, they basically were like hating on me. And then they were going... They were going to, uh, they were talking amongst each other, gossiping with to their friends or whatever. It was three people, three females, and the number three, when it's when they're doing bad things, is the opposite of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. It's a symbolism of mockery, mocking, mocking, probably mocking me, hating on me, right, with gossip, and then, um, and then, um. Um, they were like, what are you doing? Or go inside or something like that. They were just hating on me. So I just go back inside. And then, um, but there was three females, right? Just mocking, gossiping, all that. And then, um, 
I go back inside and I'm just chilling. And I remember one female, the skinny Mexican female, like playing with my shirt, my button up shirt or something, flirting with me. But they were all trying to flirt with me in my dream. It was weird. It's crazy. But um But anyways, uh I think that's all. But rest in peace to my grandpa, my grandma, my Theo Minguito. Um I miss you and I love you guys. Amen.